majority of times. I, I don't think I've come across many situations where it wasn't. But if this type of price action was happening here, when point the distance from point two and three was twice the distance between one and two, I wouldn't just say to myself, oh, well, I guess this is just one of those times where it's not. It's not, there's yeah. not a nice drop. I wouldn't just take it for granted. I'd say to myself, the markets are trying to tell me something. Yeah. I could have lost money if I drew a zone here and I was betting on, uh, you know, something happening or something, you know. The markets, the bottom line is the markets are telling you something's up. And if you don't take it upon yourself to figure it out, nobody's going to come and tell you. Well, I am, if I know it, but... You, you, you can empower yourself to know it before I even tell you it is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, and it's, yeah. it's through this process of you empowering yourself by saying, no, I have the capabilities of figuring this uh, stuff out on my own. So I'm going to figure it out. I may not figure it out completely, but I'm going to play some notes on my charts. So that next classroom, I'm going to say, hey, Kev. Okay, you see this point, point one, point two. You see how all of a sudden it extends three times the distance of point one to two. Okay, the price action here doesn't look right. Something's up. So I was examining it and I realized it's three times the size of point one to point two. It, it, am I on the right track here? And if mm -hmm. if it, if it's something that I've already come to an understanding of, I will. T tell you yes or no or I'll give you the reasons but this process of you doing this and 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 being inquisitive and 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 trying to figure things out this is the very core of how solid of a trader you will become okay because when you can do this when it comes when it comes to live trading you have to do this because you know I can give you answers but when it comes to live trading, you have to have the confidence to hold those positions. You know, like yeah. like you know, wh wh if you open up, uh, uh, if you start getting into theme trades like uh, like I'm doing in the future, and you're holding uh, three, four, five, six, seven positions, all geared in one direction, and they're all profitable, but it's hitting a supply zone, you have to make the decision: is this supply zone going to drop price? And I'm going to lose all my profits or is this supply zone going to be taken out and price is going to continue higher and I'm going to make even bigger profits. And you have to read the charts and look at what the charts are telling you because the charts are always telling you something different. We're going to learn market dynamics where, you know, the the set structure that price typically will move in like the markets always do the same thing. They're, they're, they're very predictable in most cases, but there are times where it's not predictable. And those times where it's not predictable, you have to apply logic. So all those hours that you spent studying charts, you, you would have had to accumulate some logic from all that time. And it's in those key moments that the logic comes into play for you to figure out what's going to take place. But if you don't start exercising this part of your brain that's inquisitive, that looks at the charts and says, hey, that doesn't make sense. Something fishy is going on here. Let me try to figure it out. This that, that's, the type of the, that's the part of the brain that you have to start exercising and getting it used to. Because when you don't, what you're doing is you're the student in school, the type of school that we all went to, where the teacher says, okay, here's the test. Here's the question. It's either A, B, or C. And you have to pick a A, B, or C. Meanwhile, the answer could be something that's not even on the chart. That's, that's not even on the test. But we've been programmed to believe this is the question and the answer is either A, B, or C. Period. There's no other answer. It's either A, B, or C. So we take it for granted that we have a mind and that we could think on our own. And, you know, it's all about collecting data and, and coming up with our own, um, our own um, uh, conclusions. So... So empower yourself, take it upon yourself to do the analysis. And if it doesn't make sense, question why it doesn't make sense and try to figure it out. And then when you come to class, if I say, yes, you're, you nailed it, damn, damn right. That's you, you, you're nailed it on the head. Then you can, you know, you're becoming empowered. You know, when you realized that this trend line right here was an aggressive trend line, that's empowering. 
because when you first started with us, you wouldn't have drawn that trend line. No. <laughs> because you, you would have been looking for it to follow the rules, right? Yeah. And so you wouldn't yeah. have drawn it. But now you've been empowered because now we've gone through enough of these where you're like, hey, I know it. Hey, you're not going to slide past me. I see what you're doing. You're overextending and you're aggressive. I need to draw a trend line. And then that was the key of locating this momentum shift that price responded to. So now mm -hmm. you're becoming a master of, of, of finding aggressive trend lines. Well, soon you I become feel. a master. Slow down, slow soon. down, okay. <laughs> Well, soon you become, you know, I'm saying, soon you become a master of finding the secondary supply zones. And then yeah. you'll become the master of reading into price and seeing when something makes sense and when something doesn't make sense. And yeah, then the I'll more you do this, the more second nature this becomes. And yeah. before you know it, you'll look at the charts and the charts are your best. The charts are your best friends because they yeah. have the p potential to make you vast sums of money, depending on how much money you have to invest. They have the potential to bring you great wealth and they're telling you what you should do every day. You just have to look at the charts and they're telling you everything you need to know. Yeah. When you're looking for the right thing. That's the yeah. key. When you're looking for the right thing. So that's why I always say what we're what we're trying to do here at the school is to build your logical the logical portion of your brain so that you think on your own and not be too worried about following specific rules because following specific rules doesn't work. In, in trading it doesn't if you're looking if you're looking to get 40 percent of your trades right and 60 percent wrong and and start and, and make a couple percent every once in a while based on that type of system that's great if that's what you want but long term that's not a good way of trading in my opinion but that's why do you think so many uh professional traders big corporations they get caught insider trading if 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 they were capable of making great returns why would they resort to breaking the law to make good returns because it's not easy and they're relying on systems and their systems don't work they'll work for a certain period of time until they don't and they've got investors invested with them so they need to do whatever they can to bring in the income you know so the way that we're doing it is the correct way we don't have to rely on shady dealings. You know, all we have to do is rely on what the charts are telling us and the charts are always giving us the answer. Okay, so uh, I better get going. I've passed my time for today, but that is uh, the charts. You guys did pretty decently. Let's take a look really quickly at Yoss.